Welcome back to another episode of Niger Athletics Weekly, here to talk about the great performances internationally and locally in Nigeria. We're going to start off internationally, specifically with the NCAAs. We had conference championships going down for most schools in the United States. Ruth Usoro, who competes for Texas Tech, really dominated at those Big 12 championships, getting two Big 12 championship wins. First in the long jump, she got the first place there in 6.54 meters. Huge performance because that's only three centimeters away Way from her personal best in the long jump. She followed that up the next day in the triple jump, getting the first place there in 13.31 meters, over 15 centimeters away from the second placer. So really, really dominant performances for Ruth Osoro, showing that she's going to be challenging for two NCAA titles in two weeks' time at those NCAA champs. So keep a lookout for her. Now let's move over to the SEC championships, where we first saw Raymond Ekevoil, who competes for Florida, already the NCAA leader at the 60-meter dash in 6.53 seconds. He very comfortably got the win here. 6.57 seconds. Very strong performance showing he's very, very consistent and is a clear favorite for that 60 meter dash title at the NCAA championships in two weeks time. Also at SEC champs, we saw Mercy Abide who competes for LSU. In that long jump, she got third place in a best of 6.39 meters. Very strong performance. She's definitely going to be in the mix going for an NCAA title. Finally, Isaac Odubesan who competes for Alabama. In that shot, put he set a personal best getting fourth place in 19.54 meters so great performance for him he's been very consistent over 19 meters definitely a great fourth place performance for him there so those are the highlights internationally we're going to jump locally over into Nigeria where we saw the Ekiti Classics going down at the Oluemi Kayode Stadium in Ekiti State some great athletes really competing at this meet here first off though Favor Ophili really highlighted the event with her double win at 400 and 200 meters in that 400 meter first. She was challenged by Praise Ida Maduyu. Very, very close race to the line. They leaned at the tape and then we saw Favor Ophili come away with the win in 52.54 seconds. A season's best for her at the 400 meters. Ida Maduyu came up for second just behind in 52.55 seconds. So, really great performances from both these ladies, but Ophili followed that up in the 200 meters. A little bit exhausted from the 400, but she grabbed the win in that 200 meters. 23.44 seconds. So, great 400 to 200 meter double for Ophelia, really showing her a consistency and ability to really handle herself well in two events at one competition. Still on the women's side, but this time in the 100 meters, we saw a great field here, but it was Grace Nwakocha who came away with the win in 11.38 seconds, which is a personal best for her after just missing out on a personal best in the Akure meet. We also saw Ida Madudu here again in the 100, doubling back from the 400 meters, but she unfortunately got second place in still a huge performance of 11.59 seconds, which is also personal best for her. Praise Ofoku came third place in 11.80 seconds. She had also set a personal best in this heat in 11.68 seconds. So great performances from these three ladies in that women's 100. The men's 100 meters turned out to be just as thrilling. Enok Adedoke, who has been winning a couple races already, he managed to get that 100 meter win 10.50 seconds, just ahead of Ogo Aguero, who managed to run 10.55 seconds. So five hundredths of a second away from the win. Also in third place, Ijesa Uruemu came up with 10.62 seconds. So top three in 100 meters, very high quality there. Great performances. Stepping it up to the 200 meters, Emmanuel Ojeli really took to the track and controlled the race 21.06 seconds to get the 200 meter win, followed behind by his teammate from MOC, John Clifford, who ran a personal best of 21.55 seconds. So really strong performances in that 200 meter for the men. Going back to the 100 meters, I had noted Ogo Aguero had managed to finish second place in that 100 meter final, but in the heat and the semis he had actually run the fastest times of 10.30 and 10.26 seconds respectively in those heats and semis also in the 200 meters he had the overall fastest time as well of 20.79 seconds so definitely significant performances for him in those heats and semis moving over to the barriers in the 100 meter hurdles for the women we saw Oluwakemi Francis come away with a commanding win in 14.12 seconds a season's best for the 2020 season for her she was followed behind by MOC's Miracle Thompson who ran 14.41 seconds for second place in a personal best. So great performances from these ladies in those 100 meter hurdles. On the men's 110 meter hurdle side of things, we saw Oyeni Abejoye come away in a commanding victory of 14 seconds flat, almost getting under that 14 second barrier, but continuing on his streak of great wins through this 2020 season, definitely gonna see a lot more from him. The 400 meter hurdles also produced some very great races as well. Daisy Akbofa, she managed to come away with that women's 400 meter hurdle win in 15 
58.47 seconds, taking it away from Sarah Okchibo who came away with 59.42 seconds. So almost a full second gap that we had between the top two. Also, we had Sera Kadiri who came away in third place with 59.76 seconds. The men's 400 meter hurdles was also very high quality. Timothy Imogene came away with a very commanding win in 50.51 seconds, just five hundredths of a second away from his personal best of 50.46 seconds. So great performance and really significant. He was over a second away from the second placer in these 400 meter hurdles. So Imogene really showing his commanding performance in those 400 meter hurdles. Great performances all around from all the hurdle races in the meet here. Finally, let's end things off in the field. We saw Joseph Edafiade come away with the long jump win on the men's side in 7.80 meters. A personal best for him. Really commanding win in that long jump. Great performance because of that personal best. Now let's end things off with some highlights from the MOC team. Of course, we noted Emmanuel Jelly. He took the win in that 200 meters in 21.06 seconds, which is not too far off his personal best of 20.96 seconds, which he's just set a couple weeks ago. But right behind him is teammate John Clifford, second place in the 200 meters in a personal best of 21.55 seconds. Notable because he's getting much closer to that world under 20 standard. So potentially keep a lookout for him as we progress through the season. We also have to note Miracle Thompson. We saw that she got second place in those 100 meter hurdles in 14.41 seconds. Another personal best as she continues to progress through the season in those 100 meter hurdles. She's also getting much closer to that world under 20 standard. So definitely want to track through the season. Finally, we have to know Favor Ash who started his season off very well at the Okure Mi. Here he managed to get under the world under 20 standard again here with 10.58 seconds in the heats and then in the semifinals 10.52 seconds. Really showing the consistency in that men's 100 meter dash. Definitely one to look out for as we progress through this 2020 season. All right, so those are the highlights internationally from the NCAAs and also locally in Nigeria from the Ekidi Classics Me. We're going to have a lot more content coming as the season progresses and getting closer to that national sports festival later on this month. So keep tuning in. Make sure you guys follow us on all our social media so you can follow all the action from international and locally in Nigeria. Make sure you guys like the video. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and be back again for the next episode of Nige Athletics Weekly. Thanks. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.